Hey y'all. Mm, it's me. Hello. Uh, for the record, I am exhausted. <laughs> um, yes, I am very, very tired um, because I had a long day doing what I love. So it's not a complaint. It's literally just me stating the obvious because I am very tired. <laughs> um, and I like got back and took a total cat nap. So thank y'all for joining. Hey, boo, hey. Mm -hmm. Love you, Ronica. Sister, hey, all of y'all. Hey, Kiana. Hey, Cynthia. Um, so give me a second to get adjusted. Y'all know how I be. Hey, Michael. Thank you, boo. Um, I'm going to try to make this just as quick as possible, but y'all know I'm also very long-winded. So the long to short is um, please just let go of your ex. But that's your ex anything like the way that life has presented itself to me is that sometimes when things in your life are removed for whatever reason, they make way for a possibility for better things to come along. That's literally with anything. Um, so it can be, you know, you and and I know a lot of people go through this, you know, you break up with somebody and you're really distraught about it. And you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? They were the best thing that ever happened to me. How will my life go on? You know, all of this. And it's fine to feel that way, but literally everything in our life has the possibility to be recovered in an even better space than it was before. Now, what I've also learned though, is that the only thing that can stop us from that sometimes, not every time, but sometimes is our bad attitude about letting the other thing go because if you're still letting something occupy space in your life um to the extent of uh what it previously was you know all the worry all the stress all the whatever you're not gonna have the option to have something new now i can use an example for myself as you guys know my story or may not know my story i don't know but um you know when my husband passed away in 2016 there's tons of reasons to curl up in a ball and die. Literally, you you go through so many bouts of depression, and we all go through different levels of depression. You don't have to go through what I went through to know that life can be really, really upsetting and frustrating and um, just traumatizing. But you don't have to live there. You don't have to stay in that place of, um, you know, because what happens is a victimhood, right? Is that you eventually start to go through a cycle of why is this happening to me, right? Um, why am I, and I've literally talked about this many times before. Um, I think I'm just now and after the day that I've had, which I'll get to in a minute, but after the day that I've had and everything up until this point, all that I've gone through just let me realize that your attitude is super important. That's why I really be on y'all about how you choose to approach dating. How, you know, that long-winded coffee date conversation that we were having, it literally not about coffee dates. It's about your attitude towards it. Why would you want to go on a date that you automatically are planning an escape from? You shouldn't go. Why would you want to go and um, hang out with somebody who kind of doesn't even have time for you and you don't have time for them. You shouldn't even really be dating. It's about the attitude of everything. The energy that you give to something is the energy you're going to get back. Um, there's a, um, probably tons of quotes that I could tell you about what you feed grows. The thing you pay attention to, to will be harvested. Um, the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. This is all an energy exchange. If you guys have ever heard anything uh, from me about, you know, how to try to live your best life, for one, go through your depression. Go through your, um, your issue, your emotional, all of that. Seek therapy. Get medication as needed. Talk it out. There is a center though, outside of like really extreme circumstances, but there is a center where you get to decide how you wanna move forward in something. You get to decide how you're gonna carry yourself forward and the attitude you're gonna exhibit. I will tell you now for a fact, again, tons of reasons I could have just curled up in a ball and died. Could have just ran around in ratty little overwashed sweaters for the rest of my life instead of being who I really wanted to be. Now, nothing against your ratty sweater. If that's your favorite sweater and you just live your best life in that sweater, then by all means, go for it. But for me, 
I knew that that wasn't who I was. I knew that I still had so much more life to live. You get to decide every day. Are you going to make lemonade out of lemons? Or are you going to keep being upset that, you know, you have lemons instead of apple? I like apple juice. I don't know why they gave me lemons. And this is just... Blah, 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 blah. Your blessing comes from when you make the best out of a situation you didn't ask for. Some of us wake up and all kinds of things have happened to us. It, you know, we can lose our job. Uh, family members pass away. Um, lose a place to stay. We are forced to move out. All, all kinds of things are always happening in life. But you get to decide your attitude about it and how you're going to attack. Let me say this plainly. Cussing coming because I'm not really, I'm not joking about this. You get to decide the fucking beast that you get to become. You get to become a monster in your life. You get to literally grab your life by the throat and say, this is what we're doing. Do you know why? Because you're filled with the spirit of God. You are God-like. You literally create scenarios in your mind, good and bad, based on what you want. And regardless how y'all want to say, oh, you know, I just, I'm so stuck on my ex and I just can't even, oh, that's, that's, what you've decided to focus on. You've decided to focus on the fact that everything can be so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so bad. Go through that. Get through that storm because after the storm comes the rainbow. After the storm comes the breakthrough. After the storm, you need storms to water the plants. You can't grow if you don't get water. You need that. But some of y'all need a beast. Some of y'all need to be able to say, it's raining, but I'm monstering this out. I am gritting my teeth and I am attacking life to get exactly what I want to get. Y'all see me having this show on Aspire TV. I've only been in Atlanta for a little over two years. I literally did not know more than a handful of people when I got out here. And when I tell you I would spend my last check to try to show up at events, to, I don't even have a car out here. I still don't have a car, which is partially by choice right now. But I would spend my last to get to an event that I knew somebody was going to be at. I would like send emails. I would send care packages. I would send flowers, uh, fresh baked cookies to people that I knew could like help me change my life. Y'all are out there wasting time. I know everyone will tell you, oh, you got, girl, you got time. No, you got time. You got time. Fear is stopping you. Fear is keeping you from the next phase in your life, and that is why you're holding on so tight. My friend Bianca, who I love, my sister, Bianca told me I was white knuckling. It was a whole little situation that happened, but she basically told me that I was holding on to something. I hadn't even realized it. And for me, a lot of why I specifically was holding on to that was because I've been through so much in my life, and I've lost so much in my life. We all have. Literally, I can't think of anybody who hasn't gone through a lot. But I will tell you the difference between the winners and the losers. That is your attitude. That is your grit. When I was an athlete, or I guess I technically still am an athlete. I don't know. But when I played basketball, when I played sports growing up, there's a part of you that has to become competition. I don't care what you're doing. Put your best foot forward in everything, in love, in life, in career, in family, in all of that. You dig your heels in the dirt and fight for the things that you want in your life, but also have the discernment to know when you got to let some stuff go, it's not working. It's not working. Some of those things you holding on to are not working. And a miracle cannot manifest in your life if you're still holding on to the thing that was your lesson. That's, it's over. That shit is over. It's old. It's done. It's spoiled. You never understand the many conversations I have with people, not just on my date coaching side, but just in general, where you have a conversation with them and you can tell that they are holding on to something that is dead. And I'm not saying in life, not literally dead. I'm saying something that is, it's over. It's finished. It had its time. Stop trying to get that old thing back. Stop trying to call that old friend and girl, I, what happened? We used to hang out all the time. Girl, she got a better job. She got a promotion. She works more hours because that's her dream. 
Or you got busy and you have a whole family and y'all can't connect. Stop badgering y'all friends over why y'all can't be the way that y'all was before. Girl, remember we used to go out to the club? Oh, I was a night. Life changes. And better things are over the horizon. Better things can be given to your life if you would only allow that miracle to move in your life. If you would only apply the effort that you're giving to hold on to something that ain't working to the thing that could work and most likely will work. Because let me tell you one thing, that old thing ain't working. It's done. It's over. It's finished. The, the container's empty. Y'all still turning the lotion bottle upside down and tapping the bottom for droplets of this cocoa butter. It's done. It's finished. And it, at a certain point, you have to make the decision to move in faith, which is something I'm learning. I'm not just saying this to y'all because I'm not also going through this lesson currently. And it has been proven to me. If you keep holding on to the thing that is finished, you're going to waste the time you could have for the thing that is meant for you next. All, everything is life, in life is about a next step. It's all about a next step. We never get to stay, oh, you know what, I just love it here. I just, you know what, I'm a wife. Me and my husband are happy. My children are three and five. And I want them to stay that age forever. And I want us to stay in this house for. It does not work that way. Your kids are going to grow up regardless of if you want them to or not. And some of y'all got whole 22-year-old kids and y'all still, you want me to make your doctor's appointment? If y'all don't cut it out. If one more y'all tell me y'all trying to do something extra for y'all grown children and they can't understand why they're completely dependent on you. Why they can't, I can't understand why Johnny can't get a job. Because you've been breastfeeding him for 25 years. Literally, what you feed grows. You get to decide how you want to do this, though. You do. It ain't up to nobody but you. Not one person. Not your mom, not your grandma, not your children, not even your husband. No one. Because this is also something y'all don't want to hear is that a lot of these marriages can end up ending because they were started in unhappiness or inexperience or whatever. And that is fine. Y'all ain't got to stay in these raggedy relationships for the sake of the children. The, ki the children know y'all are upset and disappointed. The kids know that y'all are absolutely miserable. And really think about this. What good is a miserable parent to a child? Tell me. Other than being an example of what self-sacrifice looks like for nothing. I would rather have a parent that sacrificed it all to make sure that they were straight and I was straight than somebody who... It's going, well, I'm, I stayed with your father so that we could be together. And I get to see y'all argue every night or get to see y'all ignore each other every night. I don't have a good example of what a decent relationship is. Y'all don't kiss. Y'all don't touch hands. Nothing. That's what y'all want to show your kids. But we stand together because I get it. Money. Whatever. But you're unhappy. And you're also blocking the blessing of development in your life. Something better is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh my goodness. It's coming. Please believe me. If you're in a season of turmoil, and I know for a lot of us that, that believe in this retrograde turned my life upside down. <laughs> retrograde was difficult. It was very difficult. There were a lot of things that happened in my personal life that I do not talk about that shook me to the core and still kind of do, but it's faith. And it's rebuilding that faith every day. They say you need faith the size of a mustard seed. Well, let me tell you something. Start with that mustard seed and keep adding on to that. Don't stop at the mustard seed. Add on to that because the mustard seed only going to get you so far sometimes. It ain't enough sometimes. Sometimes you just be like, you know what? Forget all of this. Everything. Kick over the chairs and flip the table. It's not enough sometimes. Sometimes you need to add to your faith when there is feast so that you have enough faith when there is famine. It is what it is. I just want y'all to live your best lives. I, I know I'm long-winded. Ooh, I'm so long-winded, but I love y'all. I really do because y'all have listened and y'all have been there with me during this journey. And listen, this you are beholding today. How fabulous is she? Listen, I just wrapped day one of my own TV segment. They created this segment for me. Regardless of what happens past this moment, none of that is any of my concern. All I know is I work hard. I'm really good at what I do. When I go to that set, I am prepared. I'm researched. 
I have energy. I've done my due diligence. If y'all saw my Instagram stories, there's a preparation. I drink the teas that lubricate my throat so that I sound good. I'm not sitting around smoking or doing whatever that I know is going to make my voice trash. I prepare for it. So if anybody's out there like, well, you know what? I just, I don't know how V got so lucky. She just done went out to Atlanta and just, I think it's because she's so cute. No, don't get it twisted. There was a lot of stuff that I did in order to help this to happen. I applied my faith to this and the check cleared. And some of y'all afraid to apply any of that effort to something else because the other checks didn't clear. Forget those checks. Move on. It didn't go on to the next thing. Okay, what is God trying to tell me? What is my purpose in life? How can I be helping people? When you can get to the core of that and what you really truly want in your life, that's when you're going to tap into your happiness, your best life. Me and my roommate, y'all know I always talk about Janelle. Me and Janelle have been like, oh my God this whole time working so hard and being there for each other in this process and what happened today and what will happen tomorrow because I got not a one day shoot I have a two day shoot with Aspire TV I filmed all day today and I'm going to film all day tomorrow and what that means is I earned it and Janelle is doing my hair and my makeup and she gets paid too because we earned it we applied our faith in the areas that we want it to flourish. Apply that in your life. Y'all, don't don't give up. Don't be like, obviously there's certain things that I don't explain. You know, I don't know what people's family building plans are. I don't know what kind of, y'all want to be an astronaut at 52. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about it. But find your happiness in your core. And sometimes what you are trying to apply it to can be tweaked. Maybe instead of an astronaut, you can just work at NASA. Shh. Sound like an astronaut to me. I don't care if you go up in the spaceship. That kind of looks dangerous. If you work at NASA, you're an astronaut. I don't care what you do there. That's how that works for me. Find the ways in your life you can pivot. There's always a pivot. There's always an escape. There's always an answer. Life is not just horrible. Not, life is not always just no. I know some of y'all are hearing a lot of no's. I'm saying this because I have been in this place. I know there's a lot of no's. There's a lot of no's. No, 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 no. Somebody always saying no. He's like, I, oh, why is it not working? Keep. That's, that's when you grit your teeth. That's when you go and you have that prayer. That's when you go and you meditate. That's when you go and you get yourself in some dirt or something and ground yourself. That's when you go and you write viciously your dreams because I have done that when all I had was dreams, when I would cry myself to sleep every night for months when I stopped eating. I would not eat. I would just lay in my room and I would sleep till I couldn't sleep anymore. And I would get up and move to a new area and lay there until I got sleepy again. And then I would move back to the bed and go back to sleep. Or I went through a cycle where I was dating guys and I'm just, I'm dating, but I'm dating the wrong way. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That hot girl summer gone wrong. Mm. It wasn't a good look, I promise you, because I got damaged in that process. But when I came out of it, What did I have? All those dreams that I wrote down, all those prayers that I had, I am sending energy out. You know what that energy says? I'm ready for a miracle in my life. I'm ready. Okay. Where is it? It's here. It should be here now. I'm ready. I've prepared for this. That's all you Take that mustard seed and grow it. Just grow it. Keep watering your garden. Keep working on your craft. When you feel like ain't nothing happening, work harder. You trying to be a DJ? Get in there and spin on them ones and twos until your fingers get. Even Kanye had to do that. And he's like the most arrogant person I've literally ever heard of in my entire life. Kanye, super arrogant. But you know what you can't take away from Kanye? He works his ass off. So you can't say nothing if your stuff ain't happening and you ain't working your ass off. You out there and dating this trash? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't relate. Now, obviously, you see this, and I'm looking like Queen Beyonce right now. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, you all are like, oh, she don't never have a problem. That's not true. But I work through it. I know that finding a partner at some point is a goal of mine, to find someone who fits into what I want out of life, to create a family someday. I still have that. I've had it. I want it again. It was awesome. I had fun. That's my
my thing. What's your thing? What are you trying to do? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? And how are you going to bust your ass to do it? And again, if it ain't working, let it go. Release. Release, pray on it, release, pray on it. Apply that energy to something else. And if you need help figuring it out, legit, message me. I think I could probably give you some ideas of how we can change you in the right direction. That's all I'm saying. I was just filled with the spirit today to tell y'all that. Because I had an amazing day and I want to share that with y'all because, like I said, energy exchange. I'm giving that to y'all. Receive this. Receive it. Here. Here you go. Because I've got a lot of it right now. Because I took that mustard seed and now it's like, it's like a whole hill. You know, like, I'm like raking it up. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got to say. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for the support for everything. Like, legit. Share this with your people. Somebody who needs to hear an encouraging word. I know things can get really crazy and get really frustrating, but... It will not be bad always, I promise you. I promise you it will not be bad all the time. It won't. There's so much joy still in life. There is so much joy. Okay? All right, I'm out of here. Love y'all. Till next time. Bye.